This is Sam, he's from Turtle Beach. Hello Sam, thanks for talking to us. No problem at all Dave, how are you mate? I am very well, thank you. Are you enjoying the uh, the atmosphere here at the Expo? I'm loving it, it's a lot bigger than last one's. I've been here every single one so far, Turtle Beach usually here. Um, I think it's really cool so far, we're getting a lot of good response and it's, it's going well, it's going well. Fantastic. Have you got any new ranges on display at this year's show? Funny you should say that because just behind us is our very new Black Ops 2 license range. So what we do, we've paired up with Activision. Um, we've said to them, right, you know, our headsets are awesome. Let's make the Black Ops 2 headsets. We, we got the um, we got the deal. So these are going to be the best headsets for Black Ops 2 when they come out. You know, it's not just a paint job. It's not just a logo on the side. We've made these headsets to completely be the best Black Ops for the best headsets for Black Ops 2. Uh, there's a whole range of them depending on what sort of price you look at, what features you want. And um, I think if we have a look at some of the headsets now, kind of highlight some of the best ones. We'll start at the top this end. Um, the Tango is our all singing or dancing headset. It's top of the range wireless headset. So it's surround sound. You can hear where people are coming from. If someone's tiptoeing behind you, you can hear them before you see them. So turn around and shoot them in the face, which is always good for Black Ops. Um, we've got presets that Triarch made themselves. So we've given them the headset software we have here. And we've asked Treyarch sound designers to kind of customize the headset. So yeah, it comes. This is where it starts getting into the tools that are going to make you play better in Black Ops. And they basically customize the headset to really pick out the important sounds. So for example, there's a, a footstep preset on there, which when you have it activated, you're going to hear the footsteps much clearer over all the other sounds. So it's going to dampen out the explosions, which aren't really useful. Dampen out all the gunshots, and you can just hear footsteps. So again, if someone's creeping around the corner, you're going to be able to hear them coming and react to it, which gives you a massive advantage over anyone else who doesn't have a Turtle Beach headset. Um, it comes with Bluetooth on board, so you can stream music to it. If your mum calls you mid-game, you can answer your phone on it. You can press the button on the ear on the headset and just answer your phone. Um, so yeah, we, we all hate it when you know mum disturbs you mid-game. I'm winning, mum! Don't call me now. So that solves it with that again. Um, it's just a really, really cool headset. You know, it's it's got a rechargeable battery, so you don't have to stop playing. Dual band Wi-Fi, so no interference, and it's it's going to be one of the best headsets we've ever done. Definitely. That's it. Um, moving down, we've got the X-Ray, which is a bit more of a simpler, I, I say simple, it's not at all, it's still an amazing headset, but it hasn't got all the bells and whistles that Tango has. It's a surround sound wireless headset again, but without the presets basically. So it's kind of a, someone who still wants a really solid headset wireless, that's going to be your headset. Kilo is our wide headset, so we're going in, you get um, a control panel on there, which is going to give you access to your game sound and voice sound, so you can customise how loud the game sound is compared to your Xbox Live voice chat or PlayStation chat, because they're all multi-format, uh, multi they all work on Xbox and PlayStation. Um, so yeah, nice little headset there, 50mm ear cups, so you're going to get big speakers in there, and it's just a really nice headset. If you haven't really got the cash or don't want wireless, some people don't want wireless, then the kilos are for you. What's not in here is our Sierra. Our Sierra is our tournament grade programming headset. Now this is a wide headset again, but it's incredible. It's gonna be the best headset we've ever made. It's designed with MLG in mind, so the tournament guys have helped us out. And if eSource players like it, then I think a lot of people are gonna find it good enough for them. Um, this has got uh, a control panel that comes with it. And it's got a touchscreen buttons on there for the preset, so you got you can choose your footstep preset, your story mode preset, all that sort of stuff. Surround sound again, and that's gonna be amazing. We're really excited about that one. That's called the Sierra. I said, like you say, I mean, if tournament players are going to enjoy using it, I mean, they, they do it for cash, don't they, at, at some stages, so that's, exactly that's a really good endorsement. Yeah, we designed the Sierra to be for esports players, so if they, yeah, if they like it, it should be good enough for everyone else. Um, and that completes the Call of Duty range. I mean, it's, it's a really cool partnership with Activision, and um, we're really excited about it, and it's, again, it's not just a paint job. We've got features on these headsets that are going to make it much, you're going to give you a massive advantage for people who don't have these headsets, so that's a really cool range. Awesome. Have you had many people come to the stand who have never used Turtle Beach headsets before and what's their general feedback been like? I mean, it's a really interesting one that we have. And um, I mean, one of the questions we just got asked a few minutes ago is, why don't I turn my TV up? Fair point. You know, it's, it's trying to get the understanding. Now, we have a, a headset to suit all sorts of price points, all sorts of features, starting from the ones that are quite basic, that are literally just kind of a good pair of headphones and a microphone. But you're still going to get so much more from that entry level headset than you are your TV speakers, because TV speakers aren't made for gaming, you know. They, 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 the bass isn't rumbling, you can't get the tinniness. And if you're trying to pick out a footstep that's going to, you know, if you hear the footstep that's going to change how you play the game, you're going to be able to hear them and shoot. How are you going to find a footstep in between the rumbling bass, the grenade throws? You're not going to hear it with the TV speakers. So any pair of Turtle Beach headphones is going to give you a massive step up. And this is what we say, you know, we say, try one of the games you have on the pods, put the headset on and, and hear what you've never heard before. And they will, they'll hear stuff you've never even heard in the game before. So I think whether, if you haven't got a headset, we've definitely got something for you. Um, it doesn't have to be an all single dancing expensive headset. Any headset is going to make you play better. And that's something we really pride ourselves on, that any Turtle Beach headset is going to sound good and make you play better. 
Fantastic. Have you had much chance to walk around and play any of the games on the show floor? You're just trying to antagonise me now. No, I haven't. I haven't even got off the booth yet. You know, we've been pretty rammed, which is great. You know, we really like talking to the guys, and it's great that people are so enthusiastic about gaming audio because it's headsets are becoming massive at the moment. People are starting to take on and see their friends with headsets and think, right, I might need a headset because why are they killing me so much? And it is. It sometimes can be a difference between poning your friends or not poning your friends. So it's good to meet everyone. Um, but no, I mean, I, I've got my Call of Duty wristband on ready to go in Black Ops. So I, when there's a free five minutes, I'm going to sneak over there and play some Black Ops 2. Um, there's some really cool games here. It's a really cool event. I'm loving it so far. Yeah. Fantastic. We have one final question. We always just ask this to everybody we interview. Oh, good. Did you have any preference between the Sega Mega Drive or the SNES? Do I look old enough to know what they are? <laughs> I'm sure I, I, you played I'm, I'm not going to lie. That is before my time. All oh, right, fair enough. No, really slow. that's an art. Yeah, um, that's, <laughs> for me, we'll go PC gaming all the way. That's that's where I started. So I, I don't go. That's that's where it started for me. So I don't go before that, which is quite embarrassing. You know, I, I'm I am older than I. Um, yeah. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> fair enough. No worries at all. Well, thank you very much for chatting thank to us. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the expo. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.